Hey guys, Underway is out and we are playing Geist Jank Brew. <laughs> uh, it's going to be interesting. So this is a pretty reasonable hand. We have our Forger Underworld Contact set up at the start. Against an HB. Could be rough because we have to deal with larger ice. But it does cost a little more, so we'll see. Might be fine. Shut down potentially pretty good in this matchup if we can get him to res like something fairly expensive. Uh, we'll see if he's playing next ice or like bioroids. We are on three Christian, so we can hopefully like click through some bioroids and derez them that way. So this is off campus apartment, lots of connections, uh, jank fest. Basically draw a lot of cards and hope to get pressure with siphons. And just, yeah, I don't know, we'll, we'll take it from there. There's not, it's not a great plan yet. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Let's uh, throw down both of these. I was thinking I might wait to put the fall guy down until we got the off-campus apartment, but this is pretty great. Get this down right away. Playing this console for the link, it saves a bit of deck slots for playing like Dysons, which are three cost. And then you can cycle these through. The extra copies are not dead. You can use them as cheap tag tag removal or prevention. It's definitely not a fantastic card, but you can like siphon on third action, get rid of one tag, and then use your fourth to get rid of the second tag. So if you need to get rid of tags anyway, which we do, it's a way to avoid like, work impression. There's a good chance that's like an adon or something. I'm just not gonna care about it. I'm just gonna do my thing. So we'll cycle this for two and a card, get Crescentus. It's cool. Okay. Barrier code gate. Eh. Either's pretty good. So this might be an agenda push, might just be an Adonis. Either way, we're gonna have to just not care and do a bit of setup. We want to get to a point where we can just break any ice that we see, see and then de-resin immediately so we don't just spend too many disposable breakers on it. If he scores a beta test here, it's probably fine. Yeah, I doubt we could have gotten that. Does he fire it? He does, and he gets one ice, which is the enigma. All right. Could be a lot worse for us. He's going to not ice his archives. So we, we assume he did not hit an agenda. Of course, it could be a bluff. Hmm. Or just worry about siphons. I'm gonna check it. I mean, it's it's free. I think he would have put it up here if it wasn't agenda, but he could be bluffing us. Yeah, we get Vitruvius. He was just giving up on saving that. Good to know. Uh, we'll play Trim off and click it. Another connection card. We don't want to float tags. It might take three damage now and again, but it's it's fine. It's like a Katie, but you don't have to wait for the money. The money comes in every turn. Like if you if you click Katie to six and then take on the third turn, it's like the same as clicking Trim off three times. It's gonna just ice up. And I think we just wait and watch him restructure. Sure. Another underworld. Cool. Supplier. Yeah. Between the RDIs and clone chips and just a lot of resources, 
We should keep this pretty busy. We're very much a sit back and be reactive deck. So we'll bring out the Underworld Contacts, stack them, I guess. Just keep drawing, I think. Okay. Host that and click Try Moth for a bit of money. Ideally, you can, we can appear, but we can, I mean, actually are. We might want to commit to this car. He's just going to buy a labor. Doesn't feel he can keep us out. That's fair. Director Haas's pet project. Ooh. That's fancy. Is that a hidden card? All right. Could be a sand sand. You have to check it, right? Yeah, we got to check this. I think it's just an Eve campaign to Jackson. Okay. Gonna put his botics back in his deck. Oh, just putting up at three money. Fair enough. Uh, let's start deploying some more cloud breakers. So we can run siphon on him eventually. Or we can just start poking R&D. But I'd rather him have no money when he poke R&D. So we can have less resistance to cut through. If he's pure fast advance, we're going to be hard pressed to stop him from doing that since we don't play any kind of... <laughs> okay, he's going to be just bodying out four agendas. That's not great. So we could see, it's probably a sand sand, right? I'll go check it out, I guess. Hoping it's not like Heimdall 2 or something ridiculous. We're gonna see Eve campaign. Ah. I mean, at this point, yeah, we gotta trash it. Don't like to do that. I'm gonna click the troll. Actually, we need, we need to get cards. We need siphons or something. Something to actually apply pressure to him. Otherwise, he can just buy it. I got agendas all day. So we need to get him into siphon range, and then we can maybe just keep ch siphoning him repeatedly. Two cards in his hand. I'm sure we have another turn. Let's, let's set up for next turn. We'll go R&D next turn. Oh, there's a siphon. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. So next turn we'll, we'll bring the RDI out, we'll run Siphon, and then we can hit R&D for three cards, ideally.
We're going to draw a lot of cards pretty shortly. Hopefully from breaking this ice we're going to draw into a second siphon. Or, you know, something reasonable. More Crescentis. We have a sneak door that would be pretty good. So this is probably some kind of thing to duck siphon. Nonetheless, I think we just uh, go in there. Seven credits should be plenty. Draw for a card. Get the Crescentus, nice. I think we leave that up, it only costs three. And we have more of these, so we're gonna land our Siphon. Cool. Uh, let's hit R and D. It's gonna let us through. We have we have shut down. We have crescendus. Like not much of his ice is that good. We're going to see an Adonis up top. Because so we trash that. Get a Kronos project, we trash a Jackson. Alright. Well, let's go again for uh, three fresh cards. Adonis again. Uh, we'll let him have that one. We're not going to go forth. Eli and Ichi. Rough. There's no way he's sneaking one here, is there? I think there's no way. No, there's no way. We'll just draw. You know, it probably would have been fair to, to de res that Enigma. I don't know. Well, it might have kept him from, from resing this ice. Tough to say. Alright, so we'll play Fall Guy. Cycle it for a card. Get another breaker. Hmm. He's on seven. We could hit HQ a couple times. Uh, don't mind that, actually. So we'll smash that for a card. Derez it for a card. Gonna get to go in and see something. We see Eli. One fresh look here. It's not overly exciting. I think it's probably just Street Peddler to try to get something good. Try Math off Camp's apartment. Fall Guy, okay. We're gonna flip this for a card. Get Mortos. Interesting. Since we're full of cards, I'm not going to use the Fall Guy yet. It's kind of a buffer for us. It's going to draw the last card we know about. That's the Ichi. Is it? Yeah. So he has Eli Ichi in his hand. The Adonis went by already. And we are going to play Crescentus and hit the R&D. Maybe, maybe we'll play Spike as well. Supplier's not doing a whole, or not doing a whole lot, actually. I'll probably cut him. We just ended up paying for these the hard way, which is fine. We didn't drop Katie. I guess we, we got our value in the end. 
but not as much as we would really like to. It's better if you can like keep extra foragers here or something. Stuff you don't need right away. Okay, and we'll play the Crescentus. We'll play the Spike. Let's hit R and D for three looks. What does that do? Oh, it's an archer. Not bad. We are one short, aren't we? <laughs> well, that takes them off game points, so that's actually fine. Yeah. Yeah, I have five breakers, so that fires. Don't know if we should be playing around that or not. I mean, I guess that's why you should play fairy, right? Over a shiv. Doesn't trigger, but then you're safer. Yeah, he wants the crescendus down. Which makes sense. And the shiv. Sure, that's fair game. This is now trashed as well. Well, we can play Martos, but then we're tagged right now, so it's not really great. I think we just draw a card here. Okay, fifth breaker is not bad. So we can either run for shutdown, or we can play Martos Shake Tags, because now we're actually in our MU. You know, this is Enigma. Hmm. He's got enough stuff that he can probably duck siphons efficiently from now on. So what I think we do this turn is we shake our tags and play Muertos. Yeah. So let's shake both tags. Muertos to derez the archer. Bam. And just start building our board up. Uh, we probably don't need the KD at this stage in the game. I think we just draw a card here until we can actually beat the archer and we can go in. Ideally with Crescentus. We've got two clone ships and a Crescentus left. And then the shutdown, but we'd rather not have to go to the HQ as well. I think we're doing all right. Um, we seem to have a little bit too much money, too much econ, not enough draw. Maybe an Earthrise Hotel would be good instead of one of these Trimoths. The thing is, we were lucky to get these early, so you know, that's not always going to happen. Hmm. Do we want to go after that? Could be an agenda. Ooh. Really? 
Is there another archer? Oh, I think we just shiv and run and get blown up by archer again. If he loses another two points for it, that's that's fine. But we can't let him potentially beta test for free if he gets like an advance advance and then install Jackson. Wish we had just one more. Yeah, Ichi too. Uh, that's fine. I don't think we want to break our ship on that. We just pay the trace with our one link. Actually, we have two link. Yeah, no, that that's not a good trace. What do we see here? Eli? Nothing. NAPD contract. I'll take it. Okay, good turn. So we need our sixth breaker on the board because that archer is still lurking. It's going to get Biotic out. Drawing a card. Excuse me. Hmm. With the biotic you want to... Well, this is just a Jackson. He's getting rid of the extra agenda. We better check this. Or check archives, either one. It's got to be a Jackson, right? Let's find out. No. Donis. All right, that makes sense. Yeah, we'll let that sit. I don't think I need to pay for that. So it must be six cards that aren't agendas. Look at that. We have a turn. Mimics, yeah, Mimics are actually good. That's what we need. That is breaker number six. Get in there. Honestly, him paying two points to trash two of our programs is not really a great deal for him anyway. But this is great. We're going to get three looks. Beta test. Oh, that's it. So there you go. Geist Jank pulls it off. Strategic siphoning. A little bit of Underworld Contacts just dripping in. And like, if you have the times of these up, they're really strong. But if there's too much pressure being applied, you need to make runs, you can't build a critical mass. So it's a kind of a neat deck though. We didn't see the off-cams apart, we would have drawn a lot more cards if that had happened. But we still got quite a few. I'm gonna have to check how many we got actually. Ability of Armand, we got seven cards. So actually that wasn't great but compared to Andy. Stay tuned, we'll play some more games. Thanks for watching.